No more lies. This is a video that James Charles recently released, which has pretty much flipped the situation involving him, Jeffree Star, and Tatty Westbrook completely on its head. And if I'm being fully honest, it's confused me, it's confused the internet, and at this point, I am so, so confused, and also uh, pretty sad. This whole situation in the last few weeks, and not just with Tati and James and Jeffrey, but also with social media in general, has been a bunch of misinformation, lying receipts, and just so much I guess bull which has been posted everywhere where now pretty much everyone is at the point of where they just don't know what to think or don't know what to believe. But before I lose my mind, I do just want to do the regular intro and say hello everyone, how you doing? My name is Fraser and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and this situation is so, so stressful for everyone on social media at this point and I think everyone does just want to be done with it. Now somehow if you don't know about this situation and if you don't know about it, well, I'm actually quite jealous of you. But but basically last week, Tati Westbrook dropped a very, very long video on James Charles where she pretty much accused him of doing a lot of bad things. And I think we can all admit when we saw this video from Tati, we did think to ourselves, well, this shit is genuinely quite messed up. I've made plenty of videos on this situation, the accusations, the hypocrisy, and admittedly, I think we all did at one point believe that James Charles was pretty much done, but he has hit back with actual receipts, and then immediately after, Jeffree Star and Ty Westbrook have also hit back. Now, what I'm not gonna do in this video is break down James's video. It's far too long to pretty much break it all down. There is so much there, and I do recommend you guys just go and watch the full thing, and then come back to this video, but basically in the video, James pretty much covers nearly every single accusation. A few people were saying he didn't cover everything to do with all of the accusations from certain guys that came out and spoke about him, but in my view, James did really cover the main serious accusations in this thing. And in this video, as I said, James did come with the receipts and the evidence, and I think at this point we can all admit that our opinions, no matter if we agree with each other, have been completely changed, and we've all been so confused by Ty, by Jeffrey, and by James in this situation, and I just want to discuss it today. Basically, James took a lot of the things from Ty's video and what she said in this video, and on his perspective, he pretty much did disprove a lot of the accusations, but also did admit to things like his ego getting ahead of him, and I genuinely am happy to see that, because at least in this situation, James hasn't just come out and said, oh yeah, I'm, I'm the good guy. Like, I can fully respect, despite my opinions on certain things James has done, he has admitted that his ego has got ahead of him and he has done some bad things. So whether we agree with James or whether you agree with James, I think we can all agree this response video was very good. Now, a lot of people have come out on social media and said James was passive aggressive in this situation and unprofessional. And I'm being fully honest, at the end of the day, we are all just YouTubers. And if a close friend of mine came out and accused me of something which I believe to be false, I would also be passive aggressive. Regardless of what our thoughts on this are, I think the accusation of saying, oh, you know, we, we shouldn't we shouldn't listen to this because he's a bit aggressive. And I, I, I think that isn't a thing we should go by because at the end of the day, emotions are things we want. We don't want everyone to be reading from a script and to be 100% not real. Well, we haven't come for that on YouTube. It's you tube. It's not script tube. It's the thing where we come to see actual people. And I know the situation is extremely serious, but I think the thing about the critique about his emotions being bad or angry, I really can't vibe with that. And if I'm being fully honest at this point, James has actually come out with more receipts than anyone. And I'm not trying to be biased here. I'm not trying to flip-flop here. I think we can see from the situation that I've criticized Tati, Jeffrey, and James in this situation. I'm just trying to remain balanced and pretty much report what's actually out there at this point. Now, if some of you were wondering where my first video on this situation has actually gone, basically, I privated the video, mainly because my opinion since then have actually changed on the situation. I still do believe that James's original apology was absolutely terrible. I mean, even PewDiePie critiqued his apology. I think we can all admit that apology was bad, but at the end of the day, so much more has come out since then, and I'm not happy with that opinion I had in the first place, so I didn't want that to be on my channel anymore. But I will republic it again if Jeffree Star 
does actually come out with some new information. Because in this video that James uploaded, it did appear in private text messages between Jeffrey and James, Jeffrey was extremely vicious with James in the past and in private, and that honestly confuses me so much. Because I don't understand why Jeffrey would lie directly to the person in private where initially he believed that these text messages would not be seen by anyone else. I think we all have the valid reason to be confused by that. Why would he send these messages if they're not actually true? And I'm not saying they are true, it's just extremely confusing. I mean, it could be some Game of Thrones level 4D chess sort of plays here, where Jeffrey's manipulating the situation, it was all planned, but honestly, I have no idea. I, I don't know if YouTube drama or YouTube controversy really does go that far. In my previous video, where I called out Jeffrey Star for being a bit of a hypocrite in this situation, I did show tweets where Jeffrey clearly lied about banning James from his house, so it's clear that there are plenty of lies in this situation, so it would not shock me if these DMs were just blatant lies in a way to manipulate the situation or worry James. I don't know how Jeffrey Star works. It's clear he has a massive fan base and it's clear that Jeffrey does have a history of actually winning. So I'm not a 4D chess player here. I'm just giving my honest opinion of being extremely confused. And my confusion genuinely gets even bigger when I think about James Charles's terrible apology because this video he just released was really good. But the apology, I, I, I don't get it. Why did he say this in the apology? To Tati and James Westbrook, um, I'm sorry for everything that is going on and everything that I've put. Now, to be fully fair to James, in his latest video, he does address the apology and say that he stands by everything he said in that apology. But at the same time, he says this in the apology and it's just, so uh, mind-blowing in a way. In Tati's second video and in Jeffrey's Snapchats, they both said that they stand behind everything that they mentioned. And unfortunately, there have been allegations made against me because of these things. And I don't really feel comfortable just moving on from those. Now, I fully agree with this statement. I think a lot of serious accusations have gone around and a lot of people, including myself, have been convinced of things in the past by these accusations, by the credibility of some of these YouTubers like Tati Westbrook. A lot of people have said, Tati is somebody that doesn't get involved in drama. She's never been involved in a controversy, so why would she lie about these things? And I think that is very fair, but I also think James has the full right to defend himself, which he has done in this video. And some people on social media were saying that James only came out with specific screenshots in specific areas to kind of make himself look better in this situation. But if I, I'm being fully honest, James has provided the most receipts in this situation so far. And sure, more people could come out with more receipts, but at this moment in time, there are these receipts, and I'm really just having to go off these ones. And a big tweet did come out where they were basically accusing James of faking the text messages in this video. And all I can really say to that is one, James did respond and basically said that he took one screenshot in one country in Australia and the other in America. And I think that does clear it up, but also, <laughs> Why would James use fake screenshots? I mean, maybe he would be desperate, but I really don't think it would get to the point of where he would blatantly lie to the point of where it can be proven so easily to be fake screenshots. I genuinely do not believe that these screenshots are fake. But after this video came out, a lot of people were changing their minds, understandably, but then the confusion just gets even worse when Tati Westbrook claps back with this tweet. I've left town on a digital break to heal and pray for healing on all sides. My family made me aware of what was posted and I'm disappointed to see it littered with so many lies and half truths. I stand by my videos, do not twist my words into what they are not. Hear the message. Tati then said that she's not gonna react out of anger and I'm pretty sure this does confirm that she will eventually respond. I mean, she may have already responded before this video even comes out, but this video is mainly about my confusion in the situation, the amount of lies and misinformation, the people lying about his high school stories and all that sort of thing. It's just so confusing and my mind is just going to implode. It's, it's so ridiculous. I've never seen anything like this on YouTube and I just, 
want to go back to Jake Paul drama. But as I said before, a lot of people have been pointing out that Tati really has never been involved in any of this drama, so I don't know what's going on here. I don't understand why she would make this up, but at the end of the day, James has provided receipts, so the whole thing is confusing. I don't know if somebody behind the scenes is playing some Game of Thrones stuff, but I think there is a big chunk of information which is missing from this story, this big chunk which would add everything up. And I'm not trying to be a big theorist, here, but it just does seem that something is missing here. Something big, something key, and I think something is eventually going to come out, and I don't know what side it's going to be from, but I'm just going to sit back, eat my food, and just watch from the sidelines at this point. And it just continues to get even more Game of Thrones-esque when Jeffree Star responds to the situation with this tweet. Before you believe anything that was said today, remember, there are always two sides to every story. I mean, this is some Game of of Thrones level foreshadowing. I don't know what is going on here. This is something you would see in Game of Thrones. Everyone is playing Game of Thrones. And I know that's a meme on YouTube, but it does just seem that way. This is more dramatic than season eight of Game of Thrones. And I'm losing my mind that the writers couldn't think of this on the show. But even after this, it continues to get even worse when Jeffree Star comes out with a long ass Instagram story of where he says this. Hello guys, how are ya today? <laughs> Girl, I had some plans today, which will still happen, but got a little derailed by Miss James Charles uploading a very um, manipulative, weird video of just calculation, girl. Um, I thought maybe he would take some time off of social media, but nope. Right back to uploading, trying to make me seem like I'm something I'm not, trying to paint my character in a light that's very untrue. Um, and you've heard Tati's video. Now, you, I, most of you, I'm sure, will see James's today. Um, and I have a lot to say, because I never got to tell my side of the story. I tweeted what I tweeted, and I tried to smooth things over so everyone could be cool behind the scenes, but um, no. When lies are told about you, when things are misconstrued, it's not okay. So y'all can think whatever you want about this situation, but hold up. <sighs> I didn't want to have to upload a video. I didn't want this to continue. But when someone comes for you and lies on your name, it's unacceptable. Um, there were so many lies in his video. A lot of people are, what, what do we believe? You're gonna know what to believe when I really show you the facts, okay? There's screenshots. There's a lot of things that were not presented correctly. Um, I didn't have to do this, but I will have to respond to this and I will show you guys things that um, I'm sure he never wanted to come to light but here we are but I had a very good reason for chiming in and there is a lot of stuff behind the scenes um, that I need to share with you guys I am tired of hearing about this just like most of you you are fucking sick of it bitch drama 2019 has been pretty great but this is just a whole nother level this isn't tea this isn't anything funny this is real feelings, real people. Um, and if it's gonna go public and I'm gonna be dragged through the mud and lied on, then I got come forward with a lot more that I didn't want to share. I'm so, so confused. What does this even mean? What is coming out? What is being said? This is, this is season nine of Game of Thrones. What is this? I don't know Jeffree Star. I don't watch Jeffree Star. I don't even know anyone that watches Jeffree Star. But if he does know something about James or about anyone in the situation, he needs to get out there. He needs to get out there a sap because James has made him look like a bit of a mug in this video so he does need to come out with some form of receipts or some form of information that isn't currently out there in the public and you never know he might actually do that but I do also have to say what I put on Twitter last night if Jeffrey did already know this stuff this alleged horrible stuff about James Charles why was it not already out there why did Jeffrey Star not come out and say these things in the first place because if it truly is something horrible then people clearly need to be protected. Future people need to be protected because what he's saying in this sounds quite serious. So for Jeffrey to use this information only at a time where he needs to clap back on somebody, in my personal opinion, that is disgusting. Regardless of if you're a fan of Jeffrey, I think we can all agree using information which is bad to clap back on somebody, keeping it there until the right moment, that is completely 
wrong. Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Jeffrey shouldn't release this information, he should, because if it really is this bad, it needs to be out there so people can learn about it and know because it does sound like some deep and dark shit. Now if I'm being fully honest with my opinion on this situation, it does just make me genuinely sad. Like honestly, this situation is just so, so sad. There are so many lies and misinformation. I just don't know what to believe. I've been saying throughout my videos, this is drama, this is drama, but at the end of the day, this isn't even YouTube drama at this point. This is some serious stuff. And I don't even believe there's gonna be a winner out of this. And honestly, I don't even want there to be a winner. I don't want somebody's ego to be inflated by this sick, sick stuff. This stuff shouldn't be for YouTube. This is a genuine controversy, which could go to actual, the levels of law and legal stuff. I don't like that. That shouldn't be on YouTube. At the end of the day, this has made me feel more toxic. I think this has made the YouTube community feel more toxic. And I'm not usually this preachy person. I don't like doing that on the channel. I don't like preaching a message to everyone. I like people to think for themselves. But this is just resulting in broken friendships on every side here. It's resulting in negativity to the limit. And I know, I like to take the piss. I like to have a joke. That's fair, I think. But this... This, this just makes me sad. I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this makes me sad, but I do need to talk about it because I've already spoken about it plenty of times in the past. If you're new to this channel, I'm not usually somebody that is like this. I like to be upbeat, I like to have a laugh, I like to joke around, but this situation has just completely flipped my channel on the head. And yes, I've said some things which I regret. I've changed my opinions quite a lot and I think everyone can understand that at this point. And I do just wanna get back to my videos where I joke about things and respond to Jack's films. So at the end of the day, I just want the real truth out there. People may not like this, but if I'm being fully honest, I do feel bad for both sides. I don't want a war to be waged on YouTube like this. It's funny when it's diss tracks, but I don't like this sort of thing. There are friends who aren't even involved that have been dragged in and it's just not nice to see. Now that is the end of the video. There isn't any conclusive thing I can really come to here, just pure conclusion. But to end this video on an actual lighter note, I am currently working on a podcast with my friend Faf9 where we talk about films, television, games, and anything to do with real pop culture. So I would really appreciate it if you guys go check it out, go listen to it, and go subscribe to the channel. There are other ways to listen to it, such as iTunes and Spotify. But yeah, I would really appreciate it if you went and listened to that. It's a nice conversation where we have a laugh, and that is what I think we all need at this point. And also, I am actually going to be responding to Jack's films very soon, so if you want to go help me with it, go reply to this tweet, and also go follow me on my social medias, at iNabaTV on Twitter, and also at iNaba on Instagram. I would really appreciate that. Let's actually start getting some laughs out there again. And before I end this, I want to thank my Patreons. Big thanks to Charlie, Jakazi, Scrubby, Leah, Kate, Charlotta, Becky, Courtney, Ariana, Alien21XX, Brianna, Sadi, Ruth, Dylan, Sophia, Luce, Kath, Louisa, Meredith, Quiet, Chu, Caitlin, Karika, The Bratty Booty Guard, Mary, Riley, Neve, Enochi, Jessica, Annabeth, Tonji, Anna, Sills, Boglaka, Leah, Harry, Abby, Kalia, Heidi, Maddie, Zoe, Vivian, Abigail, Aubriana, Nia, Prince, Leo, Harry, L, Godzilla, Heather, Megan, Jamie, Noku, Alex, Passenger, Bugger Badger, Clarissa, Alex, Hannah, Olivia, Emo Shoes, Michael, Michaela, Henry, Maya, Zombie Setter, and Rockstar. Thank you so much for pension the Patreon. You guys are a true bright light in my life right now because you guys are helping me out so much and I really do appreciate that. I do just want to see some more positivity and I know that sounds like some cliche bullshit but I am so sick and tired of this. I want to go back to making joke videos and laughing about stuff again and laughing with James and laughing with my other friends. So let's get back to that and yeah that is the end of the video. Take it easy people and have a lovely day. Peace out.